What kind of a, gen a gentleman would I be if I ignore Dorothy's birthday? Heresy, I tell you! Heresy! <laughs> On that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Free Houses Black Eagle Room. Isn't it nice? In the last Taking episode, we went through the month very thoughtful, of Professor. this moon. So much better than those nobles around here. How we got a lot of stuff done. The key points we recruited. Both Shamir and Marianne to our class. In which case, L Lynn Hart and Lynn Hart and Ferdinand have both been replaced on a semi, mostly permanent basis. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's offer for some so S much. S and T. My and quickly, this moment. is this is the third stage of tea parties. As you can tell, instead of having crude biscuits, we now have a Tower of Treats. <laughs> However, the prompts for dialogue are still the same. Surely not. Who wants to get better? Surely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't have any weaknesses after all. I'm totally envious of you. <laughs> This is actually a mechanic. If you are on a good enough affinity with characters, you don't have tea. to have a Thank perfect you, tea Professor. time in order Please to get their dialogue in. and their uh, observation sta stages. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I never seem to get the bonus. I know. I feel like that's the most difficult one to know. There is an online guide in which you can use these four, but uh, we're not opting to use that here. And there are a few things in which I want to address really quickly. Okay, so first of all, we have been busy regarding. In fact, you know what? I'm going to. Uh, Quickly do something before I forget it and immediately hate myself for it. Uh, yep, equipping shield, so we're all set, uh, 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 set to go. Item wise, we have been pretty goddamn busy. And also, as you can see, yeah, sure, Leone is our first um, mission assistant of this month, so we'll be good go for there. And she's a horsey horse. <laughs> Indeed. And we have been busy regar regarding everyone's items. First off, a shadow guard. I have given her a seal shield and also upgrade upgraded her to one of the best box standard weapons of uh, of the game, the silver series. This is pretty much the best of both worlds regarding iron and steel. Semi light, but also packing a hella for hell of a punch. Hubert is still the same because he's magic. Don't need anything of that. Ferdinand opted not to change anything because he's been. Pretty much been made redundant by Ingrid. Linhart, again, again, still the same. Caspar, he pretty much remained the same as well. Bernie, I've also given her a steel shield. And during our and during our fights uh, this month, that's been proven to be invaluable to her because she has blocked quite a lot of um, attacks with that. Mm -hmm. And plus, like like Edelgard, I've also equipped her with the silver bow. So, odds are she is going to be able to strike hard and be able to move quickly forward. Dorothea has not has not got a lot in terms of weapons itself. However, she she does have Sagittate now is one of her magic attacks. Petra is one of the ones in which I have upgraded a lot. I have given her an upgrade seal bow. A Killing Edge Plus and Armor Slayer Plus and finally we were able to get Venom Stones from one of the monsters in the rare encounters which we face this month. This is going to be proven invaluable if you want to go for the long game or want to play a game of hit and run. Because basically you can attack someone, poison them and then quickly run away from them while, while they slowly die. <laughs> Ingrid, I have upgraded her with a steel sword, a steel shield, and given her a killer lance apart from her, apart from her um, iron lance. 
So, if we want to get some critical hits, she is going to be the one I go to. Marianne, have not touched, but being as she is a new uh, recruit, she carries with her money. Yeah. And Shamia, haven't changed anything about her, and she does carry an immediate seal herself. Uh, abilities, quickly uh, go, uh, going through them. I have given myself a bit of a, a bit of dexterity with that. A regard, weight minus three, and I think overall that's been the biggest change I have. Uh, Bernie's also got the dexterity four. Um, Dorothea has switched. She has been given magic two as well as rally charm in case she's got nothing to do but has a chance to gain affinity with people. Um, Petra has now got axe breaker. In term, um, instead of authority, and also that reminds me, um, Edelgard also has Lance Breaker instead of uh, Reason because she's not really a magic user, at least not yet. Um, Ingrid has been given Soul Breaker. Narian and Shamir have not got much to to the name, so I'll go with that as well. Combat arts have not changed much except for giving the ones who had them monster inflicting um, uh, combat arts, that being us and Petra. But with that said, I feel like we are all set to go, except for a few things. Just gonna go and see who can level up and who cannot in terms of class. Bernie's still the same, Dorothea is still the same, Petra, oh yeah sure, Petra has moved up. She is the first person to reach advanced classes. And she has become a Sassassino with Pyrotassels because it goddamn looks good. And as well as Ingrid cannot upgrade anything else, but she has got a boatload of options in which she gets out of that current um, cur current ranking, which will be which will be uh, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Marianne is currently unchanged, but she is a bishop, so there, there's that. Shamir is a bog standard archer. So now I am just going to go and repair all holy items I need. I need repairing post haste, because this is going to be quite a long map, I fear. I know Bernie's boat needs repaired. Indeed, indeed it does. Well, there you go. Uh, you go. Uh, everything's all right. Same good luck with that, and I will just help Shamir. And I will say ahead of time, the Venom Edge or any other or or any of the Venom series, treat this like you were the, the Heroes Relic. The resources to fix them or get new ones do not come by as often as what you would hopefully like. So they can just treat them like gold because they are poison gold. But with that said. All prep out the way. Let's do it. And I will say ahead of time, if you want an easy time in this fight, in fact, you know what? I am going to do that straight away. Have a lot of keys on hand, both treasure and door keys. It's going to save you an immense headache. Because, my God, it did for me the first time round. So, for me, I am prob I'm probably going to give... Shamir a bunch of those because she has the space for the inventory as well as those movement speeds. In fact, if I am able to, who else can take one? Mm, yeah, sure, I'll I'll get it. I will give Hubert a donkey because he's not really a dork, but you get the point. <laughs> Yes, I know it was a bad joke. Fight me on that. In fact, don't, because I do fully admit it was a bad joke. Hubert, take the door key, please. I said take it. Better one of you, Lacksmith. <laughs> Too bad, sunshine. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. And you know what, just for posterity's sake, Dorky. Because I already know where I want Bernie to go, in which we're doing it with. That didn't make any sense, but you know what, hey ho.
And Convoy, really quick, just gonna sell our boatload of money, buddy. That was Marianne's. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad that at the moment she show, it shows up to our house, we steal, we steal her money. That was my life savings. Well, too bad. It's ours now. <laughs> Buck up or shut up. And um, also, one final thing in which we got in, in one of our fights is a is an opportunity to get a rusted lance. And if you can see down there, this rusted pocket lance was once forced into Gradvius. That is a pretty good lance if you're wanting high critical hits. There is a person who I want to give that lance to. She may or may not be joining us today. But that said, all prep out the way, all things ready to go. Let's do it. Let's find Flame. The underground chamber. The monastery shocked to learn that Seth's younger sister, Flane, has gone missing. After an exhaustive search for clues, you, fin you finally came upon a lead. Yes, an exhaustive search of one hour. We got the clues in which we needed, and then spent an entire month waffling around, thinking, mm, should, we, <laughs> should we get her yet? <laughs> I don't know. And of course, last episode, I did mention that this is probably one of the weirdest chapters in terms of pacing, narrative, and just all overall quality. You'll see what I mean now. So, let's get to it. Prepare for a labyrinth, because my god, this is a doozy. Seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Professor Yuritsa? Are you there? He does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground. Professor Manuela! No, she's just unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's an opening behind that shelf. Perhaps a secret passageway. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly, give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please be careful. Does this mean Professor Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Agreed. The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monsters! Shall we, Professor? I never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Someone's coming. I recognize that siphon mask. It's that jerk we fought at the Holy Mausoleum. That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation.
I remember all the times that Sprite spazzed out and we thought it was random, but it was actually our movements. <laughs> it was actually us the whole time. Yeah. It was us all along. Welcome to what I can only describe as a gauntlet of section by section of mechanics of puzzles and oh my god. God, you should be glad you have a bowman and a couple of locksmiths. Yeah, we thought that there were traps in here, but those are actually enhancement panels. Yep. Welcome to the underground basement of this place. This is going to be a quite a tactful position. As you can see straight up, you have two different ways to go. And we have teleporters. On basis, you don't know where one is going to lead. This one could lead you there. This one go it could lead you all, all the way over there. And of course, as Alice mentioned, we, we do have enhancement pads with enemies of various weapons and angles, as well as behind locked doors and locked events. Your main goal, reach the Death Knight. Keyword, reach. It's not as cut and dry as what, as, what, as, what, as what you think. This is a very weird map. But I'll get to that in a little bit. What I am going to have, I, I, I am probably going to have Shamir taking the right route. And you know what? I'm also going to have, I think... Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to have In Ingrid follow her because I feel like, no, actually. Because this is going to be quite an ordeal, actually. But you know what? No, I think it's worth it. If I'm going to have Shamir take the right hand side, us taking the left, and we can all, and we can all, uh, just, uh, Car uh, carry on ourselves. First off, Edelgard is missing. This is story prompts. You cannot get her back, so it makes complicate. It makes uh, a complicated map even more of a complication because of your tank being gone. However, the big change I want to make straight away, Linhart, you're done. He has a chess key though. That's fine. Hey, Linhart. Give me. You know what? I think I'll give that to uh, the woman who uh, who who just uh, replaced you outright. And I really hope I get a chance to show off Marianne because she is such a lovely character to use and not to mention to talk to. But I feel like unit-wise, my and my and my placements are uh, where are where are where they want to be. So, without further ado. It's fight time. Of course, there is there's a chest up here if, in case you want it. It isn't it isn't incredibly v v valuable, but hey, if you want to get it, be my guess. With that all said, battle begin we do. And of course, we have a time limit once again with the Death Knight. Our objective is to recover Flame. Let us hope we are not too late. You'll notice the time limit is is, is longer. Mm, something odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? Well, I'll tell I'll tell you exactly where where it goes. I'm Put gonna have Caspar take the initial run. And then there we go. These panels are sometimes adjacent to each other, but more often than not, they aren't. To work. But I'm I'm gonna have Shamir and Caspar take the initiative. Cause yeah, we're gonna need a boatload of help. And trust me, you are gonna want a long-range character for what's coming up, who is well equipped with various items for unlocking things. So now to business. Stay focused. And by business, of course, I mean the hurt business. You fought well. He fought well as I killed you. <laughs> yeah, he fought. He fought well. He did nothing and was and was absolutely reduced to nothing. 
Now, it is a good idea to have as many characters supporting as possible. Because if you can, if you can tell, we've got quite a lot of people who want our blood straight off. Straight off. Now, I hopefully Let's will be a, be a a be able to show off the new characters in which we have Ready. in our in 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 our stead in our stead today. Mm, and you know what? I think for yeah, I think for universal pur purposes, I am I am gonna have Ingrid follow those two there. And Marianne waits in the wings to heal. Now, let's get to Leone. Not boy. only is she a lance user and a horse, she also has quite a lot of boom to her. Think of her as the gold and e eagle equivalent of Petra. She is a jack of all trades, but mostly focusing on on, on horse combat compared to ground combat where uh, where Petra lies. Plus, Petra has sword. Leo Le Leoni focuses on lands a little bit more. However, she is so good. A stark difference is, whereas Petra counts on critical hits, Leoni is more based on on gambits and, and combos and of course a bit of speed but now let's get to Marianne as well she is a healer if you have ever see, seen one she starts off with Nosferatu heal and psychic and also her special ability is that her range is incredibly long and she has many other uses for healing arts, where, whereas Linhardt could only use Psychic three times, Marianne can use... I can use it five. So, objectively, she is a much better healer straight off. And she is only gonna get a... And she is only gonna get better with age. Also, Petra doing a fancy dance. <laughs> uh -huh, a fancy flip, that is the Asino way. Anyway, it's another way in which we roll. They're burning people alive. Always nice. Yes, Asorophy is, is a bit hurt. Let's fix that by healing her up. Now this is one of the now this is one of the reasons why you are going to want long range users as is. Now keep in mind, do not go kill heavy if you want to go collecting. Cause spoiler alert, once you kill all three enemies that are not the Death Knight in here, the match ends once you enter the door. So be warned, you 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 can kill two of them, absolutely. But if you don't want to rush this, then I would not recommend this. And Bernie immediately taking a pot shot and ta taking a death shot. <laughs> I guess hard work does pay off. So thank God for that. And don't worry, the thing that Bernie's standing on will not hurt you. No, 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 no. It's over that. It's just a vent. <laughs> but what if it's us? <laughs> now, of course, if you have a character a still on a pad at the start of the turn, it doesn't warp you, but it, it can be an option if you immediately regret your choice. So I am just going to carry on my uh, mer merry way and just take up people on there. And horse, as you can imagine, it create it's a vast distance, and I kind of made the mistake over there because I do not want Lee as much as I like Leone. She is simply here to, uh, for us to gain an um, affinity. And just look at this; it is one of the reasons why they allow you to recruit Shamir so early in the game. It is specific. It, it is specifically. For this point. In the floor. Stay alert. 
And that's what led us to believe that those contraptions are traps. Yep. The game sometimes does lie to you. Because, again, if we go here, you know, terrain raises avoidance rates. So, there we are. Not much, and not much to say, except they're useful. Despite what Hubert says. It's almost like Hubert shouldn't... I should be taking a face value. And despite what to do said in our blue lines, let's play about it. It's always a stove people who just cause trouble. <laughs> which makes you wonder, who's it for the golden deer? Well, I guess we'll find that out in due time. Yeah, so my strategy right now is gonna ha is gonna be for Shamir to take out everyone in which she can see. Caspar to take in, take in close range, and Ingrid to offer up items and whatnot. So every character in this in, in this route has a role. I am gonna keep Leone mm, clo a close by, but not enough in which he gets any aggro. As always, it is always helpful for you to gain the experience where uh, Leone gets none. Should I have held back? Nope, not at all. You fought well. Practice yields result. This is definitely a hectic battlefield straight up, but the items it gives you does alleviate other pressure. Plus, with all of these pads, it makes it a little bit easier in that in that sense in that sense as well. However, you might notice that uh, uh, that the, the, fur, uh, the further we go into uh, this place, the uh, the less these pads become prevalent. So uh, enjoy them while you can, because they ain't gonna be around for long. But I am going to just uh, boot, boost up you and take your life with an axe. And I'm one off from upgrading my goddamn bloody thing. I'm gonna be risky, but I am gonna probably ditch one on my vulnerabilities. Petra, open the door key. Hence why this game gives you so many, so, so, so ma many of them. Actually. I'm gonna retract that. Let's get to it. Mm. And I do not have a door. Damn it! Fine. And I can't trade because she can't take keys. I forgot that. I forgot that Jason That's allies so can't do that. Oh, no. But anyway, though, the reason why I took that turn back is because I wanted to be a bit uh, nostalgic, if to I may. Work. Back in old Blue Lions LP. This was the map in which we gave Petra a try regarding mission assistance, and I'll see what I, I'll show you what I mean. I will get the she surprised me and made me know that I want I wanted her on our team. Interesting apparatus. I wonder if we can operate it. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. During our first playthrough, Petra was as low a level as you can get. And she was on her own in, in this segment. I panicked, thinking, oh god, I've killed her in her first, like, debut fight. However, I was in for a goddamn surprise. Witness Bridget Pride. I am greater now. To cut things short, Petra took out all three of these enemies by herself by dodging and hitting and defending. I was blown away by her agility and I thought. I need you on my squad. 
Yeah, so safe to say, Petra made the goddamn a goddamn believer of me back Not then, and I've never looked back since. And somehow received a door key that way. Let's just say when 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 he died, he flopped over and threw the key over the wall. I don't know. <laughs> But, but yeah, stop. as you can see, Petra is just dealing with these fools on her own with, without without much of a struggle, and this and this is when she's in the advanced class. <laughs> she was, like what, like maybe like maybe level level 10, 11 at the, at the point in time, and she was still taking on these things as if they were like nothing. It was so amazing, and I loved it. One more success. And just like that, everyone now has got a clear way forward. The grid is falling a little bit behind, but that's something which we can walk, work, work towards to her, her and I. It's also nice that we got Marianne so early, because in our Blue Lions Let's Play, we didn't get her to like halfway through the story. More or less, yeah. She was one. Of, she was one. Of, she was one of the last recruits in which we ever got. For, for sure. And Stay yeah, focused. this time I'm going to open the door because Lord, we have opened up uh, another pit, as as it were. Did the trick. There we are. I'm just gonna have you go over, Petra. I mean, Leone, you're there. Bernie, you are gonna be on the uh, evasion pad, so you should be okay. How's this? Of course, they have gambits, but they are no match for us. Stand, uh, standing still. <laughs> yep, that works. And just look at this. Marianne has just has just joined our our, our party. She's facing a heavy ar armored unit, and she is pretty much nearly killing him on her own volition. That's gonna be a dang. It's gonna be a, such a dangerous mix once she gets the full power. Dude, Petra getting and I'm I'm saying Petra. I can't stop saying Petra this game. My God! <laughs> but no, Bernie. Look at that. Critical hits up the wazoo. <laughs> and of course, burn. I won't go down so easily. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I guess you call that a major burn. <laughs> but not from Bernie. <laughs> no. No, you know I would waste to create a sword attack on you, but uh, you're not you're not worth my time. Ta ta. Hubert though couldn't give a choop. <laughs> How humiliating! The professor gives mercy. I don't. Yes, yeah, somehow Ber Bernie loved that. <laughs> he's so cool when he's so cool when he's murdering. And now for fun, we pull the lever, Crunk. Doesn't say outright, but yep, all the warps are now officially working. Welcome to the puzzle seg segment of this map. A few of them lead to chests, others lead to areas in which you've already been been to on the map. Some of them might lead to enemies. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. And yeah, straight away you see you see a problem. You think it's been easy. Well here's where it gets a bit dicey. You've got bowmen and magic users surrounding that corner. Luckily most of them are just uh saying hi and bye to you so i'm just going to take a little, little bit of a step back there and good will soon follow but shamir she can just continue beasting everyone <laughs> jesus christ 
I know Shamir is a stoic badass, but Jesus Christ, man, that's that's just straight up cool. So we have been here. Now I cannot remember outright which one goes where, but I think I can remember these particular ones going going to where you don't want to go. And of course you want to go both behind there. And I was right in some ways. You need to go here in order to unlock this door here. So that's one down. This is also another reason why I opted to have more than one character go go that way. Just you have a bit of a, mo a few movement options available to 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 you. And of course I can have you you would just unlock a door. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ah yes, the trick they weren't expecting. You can open doors, my god! Yes, I have hands. <laughs> Were you surprised? Uh I'm gonna take a, a minor detour. I said a minor detour and kill and kill you. Damn that evasion pad. Uh huh. That's weird how that pad boosts evasion. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's slippery. <laughs> True. Yeah. And what do you know? Buy left, learn, smash. And no joke in there. Just thought I'd just mention it. I was mad. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke from uh, our Abdulai and um, LP who uh, we with uh, which was time in which by the was accepted in 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 to smash. Much to the chagrin of the internet. Oh please! I still feel like Fire Emblem is a good game, and it just uh, it deserves representation. Do, does it get a little bit too much? Uh, now I think it is, but hopefully though, I think it'll be okay. Burmese illustrious shield. Yep, look at that. That that that's pretty goddamn cool. Another area in which this map can get a little bit more difficult is now you're being funneled into very 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 various places and having mostly long 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 distance enemies ahead of you. But if you are able to have multiple hitting enemies, then then by all means. I was opting to have Leone go that way, but of course I cannot because she 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 doesn't have any keys or anything of the like to use. So I'm just going to be here and take and take and take whatever I can. Hubert is going to take the brunt of things there because he can. Goodbye, because he does a little bit of a dance. <laughs> <laughs> the dance of death and murder. This is harder than expected. And apparently disappointment. I'm impressed. Do not be impressed with his murdering skills. <laughs> Ooh, I, like, I like the way you torture people. And that said, Shamir, and you know one fact no, Bernie, you can take the last pot shot. <laughs> Shamir, you can take the last pot shot. Thank you. <laughs> Bernie's trying, okay? I know she's trying, and I appreciate her efforts. Caspar, unfortunately, she cannot open the door by himself. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised he can't punch his way over. But oh well. And who is left to move? That'd be Petra. Well. Let's activate the switch one one more time and see where see where we go. Leone, you can uh, move there. But just don't take any aggro from us. Thank you and good night. Let's do this. Let's do this. What was that? <laughs> you missed. <laughs> na 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 na. na. <laughs> Because, because you would, would be that childish, clearly. <laughs> oh, 
fellow dark magic user. You are nothing to me. You are an embarrassment. You are an embarrassment to my hearts. <laughs> and hopefully Dor 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 Dorothea, I forget where this goes actually. Oh, that's not actually a warp point. That's just a healing station. Yeah, it's green. <laughs> I thought that was a teleport because I am so smirch. Healing pads are green. Thank you. <laughs> okay, fine then. I know. I know. No. In retrospect, yes, I know. I am an idiot. You're really tough. <laughs> Marianne was impressed by Hubert. <laughs> you're, you're really tough with you, Kale. It's awesome. I wish I could kill. Don't worry, Marianne. Your time will come. <laughs> your time will come. All right, Petra, hit that switch, please. One more time. Some special shards have been deactivated. Hence why this is now a thing. Objectively, I don't understand why you would want this. Because most of the time, it would be a benefit to you. My only guess is that this is when enemies are just all, all around you and they themselves are on the pad. But... Apart from that, you're pretty much plain sailing right now. The only difficult thing is you can't waste time going around on the warp pads because you've got a turn limit. Oh, trust me. Trust me. I know. That's what screwed me over after getting some SM chests the first time we played this map. I have memory, and it is dreadful. So I'm just going to skip everyone over here. And this is also, and you know what, in retrospect, I, pro I, pro I probably should have done this last turn. But it also is a, ben a benefit to have one of your characters, in this case Dorothea with us, to have a move like, uh, like Stride, in which can uh, it can boost your, uh, your movement speeds. And Bernie has landed herself in the ch chest room, so good on that and I'm just gonna make sure yeah because there is one of a chest room which has not been unlocked yet but Shamir use that final door or key and by process of elimination you could probably guess where the last chest key is or, or the last wall point and let's have a look see room. I wonder what this place looks like in first person mode. Let's have a look see, because this is a that that's actually a good note of the mention. This is a uh, mechanic in which we learned la la last episode. I like the fact that we're still learning about this game um like every so often. That lever is big. Yeah. <laughs> I love this view. We mentioned it briefly, but I love how this just reminds me of like an old Dynasty Warriors game. I just love this aesthetic so much. Granted, getting an overview of the map is a little bit a little bit difficult, but either way, I love the view. And there and there is where we go, but of course you don't have a chess key on you. So you are just actually, you know what? Saving myself, saving, Ready. saving, moving myself the uh, trouble. You do not have a chest so key, Shmi. I believe you have a chest key. Yes, you, yes, you do. So if you can make your way over there, that'd be great. Uh, Bernie, no. I'm going to. Sh crap! I'm using up all of my no. divine pulses for this. Right, you have a door kit. It's not, it's not what I wanted at all. Oh god, Stay now, focused. now I'm panicking. Who has a chess key? Who okay, you have a chess key, Mar Marianne. That's great. Let's warp away into 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 that room. Right, so Marianne is going to be taking chess chess duty. Number two, away from, uh, away from Shamir. Ready. 
And I'm hopefully going to have uh, Ingrid and Caspar rendezvous, rendezvous with us. As you wish. That's my cue. And Dorothy, uh, she can just be a bit of a bit of a stride. Let's get to it. The only the range on some enemies here are not. Are not great, so you should you should it should be okay there. But yeah, Bernie, you are gonna switch places with Marianne eventually. So let's go there. To work. Warp. Thank you and thank you and good night. Mm, now I forget I it was this one, victory. wasn't it? Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice another divine pulse. I know it. Yep. Oh yeah, so it is Petra. I will get the victory. That's fine, but again, I'll have I'll just have her meet us up later. And yes, of course, if you couldn't tell, having one character on the award points means that Stay no focused. other person could travel to, to to that point. And keep in mind, once you get and once you get aggro on characters, the door will open, so just make sure of that. Alright, so first off, our Tower. first chest is going to be Eleven Sword. Basically a magic sword. That is gonna be useful for Dorothea and Marianne. Mostly Dorothea if you're just talking objective like um like um a skill points. Cast one move, Ingrid, you join us. And uh, in case you're worried, no no, no more enemies are going are going to spawn, so you are safe to uh take on everyone here. Everyone is going to ra rally around me. Yes. <laughs> Everyone wants to be my friend. Just like real life. If only. <laughs> <laughs> I can dream damn it. Nah, but in all seriousness though, guys. Like those who watch or comment on our videos, you guys are all are all the same. And now here is another item in which in which this is picked up. This is this is the March ring. If you couldn't tell, it is. Um, if I could get to the, if I can get to the the menu, please. The marching increases movement. If you have heavy armor units, then yeah, sure, it is very worth your time to get this. However, seeing how you don't have Edelgard here, it's not immediately useful. But it's there if you want it. But now. If I can have someone just play knock knock. Hello. <laughs> no again. Whittle down, whittle down enemies as much as you can if you just want like universal, universal experience. Unless you want to go absolutely suicidal and test your luck, you can absolutely try your hand at the Death Knight. However. Just like last time, he's on a critical pad. But that's if you turned it off. He is still a bit, a bit more stronger than you, but just try your luck. And you know what? I think I is. I you think... said that last time and you died. <laughs> well, guess what? Never again! You will die together. Oh, joyous. Come on, baby! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I hit! And now he has counter, counter tap, but that's okay. Because if I can get one clean shot off with either Hubert or Bernie, we oh, should be golden. Attacking him outright doesn't end the round, so you still have an opportunity to take people out. Now this is where Dorothea re really gets it. Or do I go lucky 
and try and tr and and try to capitalize on Petra's combat arts and her skill. Cause she lives no matter what. Let's try it. Even if he gets a critical. That's if we don't get a critical hit off ourselves. Come on! Yeah! I remember it took us till endgame to kill a death knight last time. We've grown somewhat, baby! Yeah! You get a dark seal. <laughs> uh-huh. Definitely. Just like last round. You see now, you do have an option. If you kill every enemy, the fight ends. So you can't so you so you can't kill everyone in one go. So I took my best pick of what drops the most experience. And it's the Death Knight. Of course dialogue is still the same. Halt. You're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor? Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. The enemy's withdrawn. Let's carry them up. Wouldn't have in any other way. She was a shining star in our first playthrough here. Makes sense that she is here. Mm-hmm. They're pale and their pulses are slow. Still, I don't believe their lives are in danger. You found Flame? Where? You missed the most important part of the mission. We found her within that secret passage. The culprits were the Death Knight and... What was his name? Ah, the Flame Emperor. Sadly, they got away. All that matters is Flame's safety. Right, Professor? We will take these two to the infirmary. Professor, please inform Sedith. Whatever the circumstance, I'm glad Flame is safe. Though I'm curious to find out who that other girl is. Huh? Professor? Is that... a smile? <laughs> you look... happy. I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Anyhow, we should hurry to Sedith. He must be beside himself by now. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flame is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flame's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flame, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. 
I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy. But who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. I have my own mission. The church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> Well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? <laughs> <laughs>